What's going on guys, it's Robert Hall, and today we're gonna circle back to something that I covered, I think, probably almost a year ago at this point, and that is the Godox S30 LED, but more importantly, its projection attachment. I made a video about the S30, and the S30 LED itself wasn't that groundbreaking to me. It's a daylight balanced LED, Brunel head style, so you can zoom it a little bit. Also, you can power it with batteries or using an AC adapter, but at a 30 watt LED, I just didn't find it to be very impressive. Although, the best part about the system was this projection snoot attachment. Now, I'm not gonna rehash everything I said in that video about this projection snoot attachment because I covered it really well. So, if you want to get caught up on this projection snoot attachment, then check out that video from last year. This optical projection snoot combines lenses. There's swappable lenses that you can put in the front here so that you can narrow or concentrate or widen the beam of light. It also has cookies or gobos so that you can put in here to shape the light to give yourself patterns of light. There's an iris control so you can narrow the light even more and you can put gels in front of it to color it. And there's even flags where you can cut light so that you can create really hard edges to your light. All of that is awesome. However, as I said in my last video, Godex does have a new series of lighting coming out called the FV series. Now it's a completely different style head, but I hope they find a way to adapt that head to also take advantage of this projection snoop system. Then photographers would really be able to utilize this system in a significant way. And Godox finally made that a reality with this, the SA17 adapter. So it adapts from Bowen's mount to the SAP projection kit. Very simple device. That's it goes right on the front of any of the Godox LEDs. Now I know as soon as I mount this to a Bowen's mount LED, the question that is going in most of your guys' head is, will this work for flash photography? And I have not yet investigated those limitations. When I get a chance, I will test with all the flash products. I do know right off the bat that this isn't going to accommodate all of the bare bulbs simply because of the inner design here, but I will test out what it does work with and what type of results you get with it. Because I can also tell right off the bat that something like an 8200 will mount inside of this, I just don't know what the results are gonna be like. So it's very simple here. You attach the Bowens to the FV or the VL series or the SL series or the UL series, anything Bowens mount LED this is designed to work with. Then you slide on the SAP attachment, lock that down, tighten down your yoke, and the yoke on all of these lights is plenty sturdy to accommodate this. Although something like the SL series, I'm not sure how that's going to handle the leverage of this. And I don't have an original SL series anymore, so somebody else is gonna have to test that. All right, and right off the bat, see how it looks. As we would expect, we still have the focusing option with the lens. Now, another thing I was critical about when the SAP first came out is that I'm not exactly thrilled about the cookies that have launched with it because we've got a moon with stars, we've got stars, we've got a holy night, a sunburst, I guess. Uh, this weird shape. Don't know what that is. Looks like some secret society symbol. And the one that I would actually find useful is this, just simply a slash of light. And right now I'm looking at the SA09, which is a new set of gobos that they offer. And this set is all like window designs. Big improvement there. So let's get out the gobo holder. Be mindful when you remove these gobos, they can be quite hot. In fact, let's turn down the power of this a little bit. So you can see pretty much everything in here I would define as either geometry based or meant to emulate windows. Now on this one, the gobo itself is angled. So this isn't because I'm at a slight angle. This is the design of the gobo. Remember, you don't have to have these to, you know, in clear focus. We can have them be softer. We can defocus them. And again, we can combine them with all the other accessories that are available in the projection kit to kind of fine tune these. This SA17 Bowens mount to SAP projection kit adapter 
is now available so you guys can purchase it if you're a user of any of the bones mount led lights such as the fv vl ul sl2 series lights then this is going to work great again i'm not sure how this is going to handle on the original sl series lighting just because of that handle design and for all my fellow flash nerds out there i'll be back in the future to test this out with the flash units such as the 8200 400 pro 600 pro etc although i don't think the 600 pro bulb is going to fit in there maybe the 400 pro and the units below that i think the 300 pro is actually going to work great with this because it's flash tube is so short i'll find out and follow up for you guys so if you're new here subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to that video i've got this sa17 linked in the description below also yes this will work with any of the flashpoint variants the same godox lights but from flashpoint such as the fb200 from flashpoint it's going to work with those too if you have any questions leave them in the comments below like this video if you enjoyed and until next time keep on shooting editing rob here because apparently my mic wasn't on when i recorded this clip throughout the entire video i displayed using the gobo in this manner where i just place it atop the gobo holder but that's not how the gobo holder is designed it's designed to come apart it unscrews just like i'm showing here and then you can place the gobo holder on the inside and screw it back down this allows it to be way more secure but i choose the other way just because it's faster but do you homie